ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ஸ்ரீ அரவிந்தாய சாவித்ரி புக் ஒன் த புக் ஆஃப் த பிகினிங்ஸ் கேன் டு த இஷ்யூ அவைல் வித்ரான் இன் சீக்ரெட் ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தாட் ஹர் மைண்ட் மூவ் இன் மெனி இமேஜ் பாஸ்ட் தட் லிவ்ட் அகைன் அண்ட் சா இட்ஸ் என் அப்ரோச் டைங் இட் லிவ்ட் இம்பெரிஷபிளி இன் ஹர் transient and vanishing from transient highs invisible a fateful ghost of self it bore the future on its phantom breast along the fleeting events far backward trail regress the stream of the insistent hours and on the bank of the mysterious flood peopled with well loved forms now seen no more and the subtle images of things that were her witness spirit stood reviewing time all that she once had hoped and dreamed and been flew past her eagle wing through memory skies as in a many hued flaming inner dawn her life's broad highways and its sweet bypaths lay mapped to her sun clear recording view from the bright country of her childhood days and the blue mountains of her soaring youth and the paradise groves and peacock wings of love to joy clutch under the silent shadow of doom in a last turn where heaven rays with hell toll passionate months led in a day of fate an absolute supernatural darkness falls on man sometimes when he draws near to god an hour arrives when fail all nature's means forced out from the protecting ignorance and flung back on his naked primal need he at length must cast from him his surface soul and be the ungarbed entity within om namo bhagavate sri aravindaya that hour had fallen now on savitri a point she had reached where life must be in vain or in her unborn element awake her will must cancel her body's destiny for only the unborn spirit's timeless power can lift the yoke imposed by birth in time only the self that builds this figure of self can raise the fixed interminable line that joins these changing names these numberless lives these new oblivious personal personalities and keep still lurking in our conscious acts the trail of old forgotten thoughts and deeds disown the legacy of our buried selves the burden some hardship to our vanished forms accepted blindly by the body and soul an episode in an unremembered tale its beginning lost its motive and plot concealed a once living story has prepared and made our present fate child of past energies the fixity of the cosmic sequences fastened with hidden inevitable links she must di- disturb dislodge by her soul's force her past a block on the immortal's road make a raised ground and shape a new her fate a colloquy of the original god's meeting upon the burdens of the unknown her soul's debate with embodied embodied nothingness must be unrestled our out on dangerous dim background her being must confront its formless cause against the un against the universe way its single self on the bare on the bare 
peak where self is alone with not and life has no sense and love no place to stand she must plead her case upon extinctions verge in the world's death cave uphold life's helpless claim and vindicate a right to be and love all turned must be nature's harsh economy om namo bhagavate sri aravindaya aquantain she must win from a past born and hold account of suffering exhaust strike out from time the soul's long compound death and the heavy servitudes of the karmic gods the slow revenge of unforgiving law and the deep need of universal pain and a hard sacrifice and tragic consequence out of a timeless barrier she must break penetrate with her thinking depth the void's monstrous hush look into the lonely heights of immortal death and with her notes break measure the infinite night the great and dolorous moment now was close a male battalion marching to its doom the last long days went by with heavy tram long but too soon to pass too near the end alone amid the many faces loud aware of among unknowing happy hearts her harmed spirit kept watch upon the hearts listening for a foreseen tremendous step in the closed beauty of the inhuman wilds a combatant in silent dreadful list the world unknowing for the world she stood no helper had she say the strength within there was no witness of terrestrial eyes the god above a nature soul below were the spectators of that mighty strife around her were the astral sky pointing hills the green murmurous broad deep thought woods muttered incessantly their muffled spell a dense magnificent color self wrapped life draped in the leaves vivid emerald monotone and set with checkered sunbeams and blithe flowers immune her destiny secluded scene there had she grown to the stature of her spirit the genius of titan silences steeping her soul in its wide loneliness om namo bhagavate shri aravindaye had shown to her her self's bare reality and mated her with her environment its solitude greatened her human hours with the background of the eternal and unique a force of spare direct necessity reduced the heavy framework of man's days and his overburdening mass of outward needs to a first thin strip of simple animal wants and the mighty wildness of the primitive earth and the brooding multitude of patient trees and the musing sapphire leisure of the sky and the solemn wait of the slowly passing months had left in her deep room for thought and god there was her dramas radiant prologue lived a spot for the eternal's dread on earth set in the cloistral yearning of the woods and watched by the aspiration of the 
peaks appeared through an aureate opening in time where stillness listening felt the unspoken word and the hours forgot to pass towards grief and change here with the suddenness divine advents have repeating the marvel of the first descent changing to rapture the dull earthly round love came to her hiding the shadow death well might he find in her his perfect shrine since first the earth beings heavenward growth began through all the long ordeal of the race never a rarer creature bore his shaft that burning test of the goddess in our paths a lightning from the heights on our abysses all in her pointed to a nobler kind near to earth's wideness intimate with heaven exalted and swift a young large visioned spirit voyaging through worlds of splendor and of calm overflow the ways of thought to unborn things ardent was her self poised unstumbling will ओम नमो भगवते श्री अरविंदाय हर माइंड अ सी ऑफ वाइट सेंसिटिटी पैशनेट इन फ्लो हैड नॉट वन थर्बिक वेव एज इन अ मिस्टिक एंड डायनेमिक डांस अ प्रीस्टस ऑफ इमैक्युलेट एक्सटसीज इंस्पायर्ड एंड रूल्ड फ्रॉम ट्रूथ्स रिवीलिंग वॉल्ट मूव्स इट सम प्रॉफिट कैवर्न ऑफ द गॉड्स a heart of silence in the hands of joy inhabited with rich creative beats a body like a parable of dot that seemed a niche for veiled divinity or golden temple door to things beyond immortal rhythm swayed in her time born steps her look her smile awoke celestial sense even in earth stuff and their intense delight poured a supernal beauty on men's lives a wide self giving was her native act a magnanimity as of sea or sky enveloped with its greatnesses all that came and gave a sense as of a great and world her kindly care was a sweet temperate sun a high passion a blue heavens equipoise as might a soul fly like a hunted bird escaping with tired wings from a world of storms and a quiet reach like a remembered breast in a heaven of safety and splendid soft repose one could drink life back in streams of honey fire recover the lost habit of happiness feel her bright nature's glorious ambience and bring joy in her warmth and colors rule a deep of compassion a hush sanctuary her inward help unbarred a gate in heaven love in her was wider than the universe the whole world could take refuge in her single heart the great unsatisfied godhead here could dwell vacant of the dwarf self's imprisoned air her mood could harbor his sublimer breath 
ഓം നമോ ഭഗവതേ ശ്രീ അറവിന്ദായ സ്പിരിറ്റുവൽ ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻ മേക്ക് ആൾ തിങ്സ് ഡിവൈൻ ഫോർ ഈവൻ ഹർ ഗേൾസ് വർ സീക്രസീസ് ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് അറ്റ് വൺ ഷി വാസ് ദ സ്റ്റില്ലസ് ആൻഡ് ദ വേൾഡ് എ കോണ്ടിനെൻ്റ് ഓഫ് സെൽഫ് ഡിഫ്യൂസിങ് പീസ് ആൻ ഓഷ്യൻ ഓഫ് അൺട്രംബ്ലിങ് വെർജിൻ ഫയർ ദ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് the silence of the gods were hers in her he found a vastness like his own his high warm subtil either he refound and moved in her as in his natural home in her he met his own eternity till then no mournful line had where his ray on the frail breast of this precarious earth since her old sight of sight in its breath fastened house opening in sympathy with happier stars where life is not exposed to sorrowful change remembered beauty death claimed let's ignore and wondered at this world of fragile forms carried on canvas strips of shimmering time the impunity of unborn mites was hers although he learned to bear the human load her walk kept still the measures of the gods her spirit had failed to stain that brilliant glass unmeared with the dust of our mortal atmosphere in it still reflected heaven's spiritual joy almost they so who lived within her light her playmate in the sim paternal spheres descended from its unattainable realms in her attracting advance luminous wake the white fire dragon bird of endless bliss drifting with the burning wings above her days heaven's tranquil shield guarded the mission child a glowing orbit was her early term years like gold remained of the gods that pass her youth sat throned in calm felicity but joy cannot endure until the end om namo bhagavate shri aravindaya there is a darkness in terrestrial things that will not suffer long to glad a note on her too closed the inescapable hand the armed immortal bore the snare of time one dealt with her who meets the burden great assigner of the ordeal and the path who chooses in this holocaust of the soul death fall and sorrow as the spirits goats the dubious guarded with this touch with this torch of pain lit up the chasm of the unfinished world and called her to fill with her vast self the abyss august and pitiless in his calm outlook heightening the eternal's dreadful strategy he measured the difficulty with the might and dug more deep the gulf the, uh, that all must cross assailing her divinest elements he made her heart kin to the striving human heart and forced her strength to its appointed road for this she had accepted mortal breath to wrestle with the shadow she had come and must confront the riddle of man's birth and life's brief struggle in dumb matter's night rather to bear the igno with ignorance and death or have with the ways of immortality to win or lose the god like game for man was her soul's issue thrown with destiny's dice but not to submit and suffer was she born to lead to deliver was her glorious part here was no fabric of terrestrial mech to fit f- fit for a day's use by busy careless powers 
an image fluttering on the screen of fate of animated for a passing show or a castaway on the ocean of desire flung to the eddies in a sirathless fort and tossed along the gulfs of circumstance a creature born to bend beneath the yoke om namo bhagavate shri aurobindo a chattel and a plaything of time's lords or one more pawn who comes destined to be pushed one slow move forward on a measureless board in the chess play of the earth soul with doom such is the human figure drawn by time a conscious frame was here a self born force in this enigma of the dusk of god this slow and strange uneasy compromise of limiting nature with a limitless soul where all must move between an ordered chance and an uncaring blind necessity too high the fire spiritual dare not blaze if once it met the intense original flame an answering touch might shatter all measures made and art sink down with the weight of the infinite a gall is this immense material world across each road stands armed a stone eyed low at every gate the huge dim sentinel space a great tribunal of the ignorance and in inquisition of the priests of night in judgment seat on the adventurer soul and the dual tables and the karmic norm restrain the titan in us and the god pain with its slash joy with its silver bribe guard the wheel circling immobility a bond is put on the high climbing mind a seal on the too large wide open heart death stays the journeying discover our life thus is the throne of the inconsigned safe while the tardy coilings of the eons pass and the animal browses in the sacred fens and the gold hawk can cross the skies no more but one stood up and lit the limitless flame erained by the dark power that hates all bliss in the dire court where life must pay for joy sentenced by the mechanic justicer om namo bhagavate shri arvindaya to the afflicting penalty of man's hopes her head she bowed not to the stark decree bearing her helpless heart to destiny's stroke so bows and must the mind born will in men obedient to the statutes fixed of old admitting without appeal the nether gods in her the superhuman cast its seed in act to fold its mighty wings of dream her spirit refused to hug the common soil or finding all life's golden meaning throb compound with earth struck from the starry list or quenched with the black despair the god given light accustomed to the eternal and the true her being conscious of its divine founts asked not from normal asked not from mortal frailty pains relief patched not with the failure bargain or compromise a work she had to do a word to speak writing the unfinished story of her soul in thoughts and actions graved in nature's book she accepted not to close the luminous page cancel her commerce with eternity or set a signature of weak assent to the brute balance of the world's exchange a force in her that toiled since earth was made accomplishing in life the great well plan pursuing after death immortal aims repent to admit frustrations barren roll forfeit the meaning of her birth in time obey the government of the casual fact or yield her high destiny up to passing chance in her own self she found her high recourse she matched with the iron law her sovereign right her single will opposed the cosmic rule to stay the wheels of doom this greatness rose at the unseen snock upon her hidden gates 
her strength made greater by the lightning stretch om namo bhagavate sri aravindaya awoke from slumber in her heart's recess he bore the stroke of that which kills and saves across the awful march no i can see bearing its dreadful root no will can change she faced the engines of the universe the heart stood in the way of the driving wheels its giant workings passed in front of your mind its stark conventions met the flame of a soul a magic leverage suddenly is caught that moves the veiled ineffable's timeless will a prayer a master act a king idea can link man's strength to a transcendent force then miracle is made the common rule one mighty deed can change the course of things a lonely thought becomes omnipotent all now seems nature's must missionary an endless servitude to material rule and long determinations rigid chain her firm and changeless habits aping la her empire of unconscious left device annul the claim of man's free human will he too is a machine amid machines a piston brain pumps out the shapes of thought a beating heart cuts out emotions more an insentient energy fabricates a soul or the figure of the world reveals the signs of a tide chance repeating her old steps in circles around matters binding posts a random series of inept events to which reason lends elusive sense is here or the empire life's instinctive search or a vast ignorant mind's colossal work but wisdom comes and the vision grows within then nature's instrument crowns himself her king he feels his witnessing self and the conscious power his soul steps back and sees the light supreme om namo bhagavate sri aravindaya a god head stands behind the brute machine this truth broke in a triumph of fire a victory was won for god and man the deity revealed its hidden face the great world mother now in her arose a living choice reverse fate's cold at turn affirm the spirit tread on circumstance pressed back the senseless dire revolving wheel and stop the mute march of necessity a flaming warrior from the eternal peaks empowered to force the door denied and closed smote from death's visage its dumb absolute and burst the bounds of consciousness and time